Alrighty, we are gonna do some SHW action and get this over to the right place so you can see. So we have to make a new one for SHW 12. And can you have here at first one? Problem. Will you be free at one? Um my schedule today is interesting. I'm having a meeting with um, some of the physics students at one to go over their lab project. I'm supposed to be at another meeting at one that I forgot about when I scheduled that meeting. So, uh, <laughs> no, I'm already double booked. Could we talk while you have lunch? Um, well, I'm going to be eating lunch while I'm talking to them. Can you be free at three? Um, three o'clock is when Alex will be here for his. Uh, nice yeah. And is that count? Um, it usually takes us about an hour, so around four. Okay. So, <clears throat> it'll show up. By what percentage, or by what per? I'm going to read in English now. Okay. By how many percent is the torque of a motor decreased if its permanent magnets lose 5% of their strength? There's an equation somewhere. What is, so the concept is torque and magnetic fields. I think that's what the concept would be. See, when do we start talking about torques? Like in inductive and capacitance? Yeah, how far is this chapter 24 now? Uh, no, chapter 24 will be the start of the next section. Okay. Well, it's 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 kind of like the cutoff, the cutover between the sections. So AC circuits. So the the text is over chapters twenty two through twenty four, with twenty four being, you know, it, it's it's a one lecture. What we're going to do on twenty four here, we're going to not talk about polarization. We're going to save that for the next test. Okay. Um, yeah. So which. So we're dealing with torque and magnetism. Which section would I find? Um, electric motors. Uh, electric motors should be section 22.8 through 11 is the Okay, region. so 2.8 is torque on a current loop, motors and meters. That would be it. Got... So torque equals uh, W over 2 F sine theta plus um, W over 2 sine theta. That's a, that's part of the derivation. Okay. Uh, Remember, we made a square loop, and we calculated the force on each section of the square loop, and then we calculated the torque that was created by the force on each so torque equals um, W I L B sine theta. Is that Keep going. Or torque equals in or uh, the I N B A. Yeah. Okay. That's what we'll use. This. So torque. Oh, you already had it, didn't you? Well, yeah. Oh. So torque is proportional mm -hmm. to the magnet field strength. As torque is proportional to magnet field strength. So, if your magnetic field strength drops by 5%, what happens to your torque? Um, less torque by 5%? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next one, because that one yeah. okay. was actually pretty basic. Mm -hmm. 
So how many percent would the current need to be increased to return to the original values? I'm not sure offhand. Um, current equals two pi r b over um, the emissivity. Well, we're still using this same equation because oh. it's still a generator. Okay. So we want torque one equals torque two, right? Mm -hmm. We want the same torque. Mm -hmm. And so torque one was I initial and B initial A. That just putting the max, I'm not gonna put the sign gotcha. theta. And then you just solve. And that's gonna be equal to I one N and then B one is 0 0.95 initial B because it dropped by 5%. And I actually should put another zero there because I had three sig. Well, I had out to that sig figs. And so now I just solve this for I1. Okay, sounds good. So I cancel what I can, ends cancel, B initials cancel, A's cancel, ends cancel. And I have so I have to take one divided by 0.950. Gotcha. And that will give me one point. A little bigger than 1.05. Okay. And so the amount will go up is just take away the one by multiply by 100%. So 1.0526, is that right? Um, yeah, 1.0526. So you drop magnet field by 5%, you have to increase the current by 5.3%. That's something that people always forget. The percentage is based on your starting value. So like in the stock market, if the stock market loses 10% of its value like it did a week ago, mm -hmm. it has to go up by more than 10% to get back to where it was. Yeah, that makes sense. Did you... It has to go up 11%. Wait, 11. How did you get 5 point? Because, I mean, I multiplied by 100 and I get this. Um. Well... 100% is what you were of, at. Gotcha. So it's an increase of 5.3%. Okay, now. It makes sense. Okay. Number three. To create a 0 0.010 Tesla magnetic field inside a 0 0.05 or 0 0.50 meter. Let me get this on the other screen. a 0 0.1, 0 0.010 Tesla magnetic field inside a 0 0.50 meter cylinder, how many times should you wrap the wire around the cylinder? Assume the maximum current to, in the wire is A. So you solve for N. You have that equation. Um, for magnetic field, for right? Ma so B is equal to... I, I, Okay. And, and yeah, I had to read this like 
I right. apparently What's got up too early today. So there's our length mm -hmm. of half centimeter. When, when I read that, I was thinking it was the diameter. I was like, but I don't have what I need, but I do. And our N is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. so and there's our there. current. And there's our magnetic field. And you'd look up the permit. So, yeah. Okay, let's do another one. <laughs> well, we can't stop. What? But I understand that. I want to get one more in the Will you have a little time at four or will you be going? Um, I will have a little time, but I will be going home shortly. Sure, yeah. Okay. okay, there I can somehow stop. Okay. Yeah. There's no cancel. Let's see. It's that many turns. Okay. <laughs> Magnetic force between two parallel conductors. Mm -hmm. Okay, this has a couple pieces. Uh, I have five minutes before class. Do you think that it's too long before class? I haven't read it yet. The hot and neutral wire supplying DC power to a light rail commuter train carry 800 amps and are separated by 75 centimeters. What's the magnitude direction of the force between these? Okay, so we have... That specifies that it's DC. Two wires. Yes. And... I am going to assume that the current goes opposite directions, that it's doing a loop. Mm -hmm. um, right, because that's the way a circuit should be. So if we look at this. I don't know. I have four minutes. Do you think that? Yes, I think we can do this because it's real simple. Okay. So the current yes. in, let's call this hot, it's going to make a magnet field that because of the right hand rule mm -hmm. is going to be going down over here. So now using the right hand rule again, force equals I L cross B. Take my right hand, put my index finger in the direction the current's going, and then orient my hands so my fingers are going in and my thumb is pointing out. So the force is pushing them apart if the currents are going opposite directions. And then we just have B is equal to mu ot I over two pi times R, where R is the separation. And then force is equal to I L B is equal to mu ot I squared L. Wait, and that's for the direction? The direction was from the right-hand rule. Okay. And this is for the magnitude. And so then we have to put our numbers to actually get the value for the magnitude. Thank you. And that's... Yeah, go, go ahead. Sorry. I have like two minutes, but thank yeah. you so much. Um, oh. Test is 